Hi everyone, Tatiana from the Green Birds Bead Kingdom is here and today I'm going to show you how to create very, very, very long, beautiful and nice earrings using symbol findings, gemdo beads and some seed beads, some chains. Here I've created two variations for you. This is the black and white and this one is black, white and also green. So you could see how it looks like when we add some color. Everything I am using here in this video, the list of materials I use can be found in the description under this video. So go there, check it, go to your local bead stores to grab some supplies and let's get started. For this project I'm going to use my favorite Toho 1G beading thread. This is the nylon thread. I'm going to use this in color black because my seed beads are going to be in black color also. Then I'm taking my game duo beads and I need six beads for one earring and I'm going to make a star just like this. I'm putting all the beads, all the six beads here like this, like a patchwork. See, they look like a patchwork. So you can assemble uh, these beads in different style. You can do this where we have two colors together or we can just do it like this. When we have black, white, black, white, it's totally up to you. You decide how you want to do this. And this is how I'm going to assemble them in one star. So this is what I get in the end. Let me show you these beads a little closer. See, they have two holes here. Now we are going to pass through all bottom holes of all these Game Duo beads. So I'm just stringing these all beads now. In the same order, I've put them here. Don't turn them or rotate. That's important. Okay, beads are strung. Now send them back to the end of the thread, leaving a tail approximately 5 to 7 inches. We are going to deal with this end of thread later. Okay, what are we going to do next? Let me show you this closer so you could see this in details. I'm going to pass through all these beads once again, through the bottom hole of all these beads. I'm going through them all. So we're making a loop and then we are going to pass through all these beads once again to make it more secure. Okay, just like this, I'm coming through all these holes for the second time. Okay, now bring this needle here where your first thread is. Cut off the thread from spool. And tie a couple of knots here, just the ordinary knots. Do the first and then make second on top of the first one. Make first knot tight, but not too tight. Thread tension. See, a star should lay flat. And now I'm adding second knot on top of the first one. Okay, this is what I have. I'm going to pass through all the bottom holes once again. I'm doing this just because I want my star to be stiff. I'm filling bead holes with the thread and this helps us, I mean our star, to stay stiff. So yes, go around all these holes once again. And maybe a couple of times. You decide, you can fill the star if it's stiff enough, you can stop here. If it's not, make a couple of more rounds. Make a couple of knots between beads. See what I'm doing here? I'm passing under the thread between the two Gemdo beads. And then I go with my needle through this loop and pull tightly. You can make a couple of these knots here and there. This will help us to secure the thread. Make a couple of knots with both of your threads. And then after you do this, cut the thread off. Okay, and now our star is ready. See, it looks very nice and beautiful. I'm going to lay it down here and it's time to add some beads just for design. I will show you what I'm going to create now. It's pendant finding here. I will attach a tassel to it later. Here on top I'm going to add another finding. This is going to be attached to earring findings. Here I'm going to add some seed beads. Like this, I'm going to add seed beads to make this star more rounded. I'm going to make it a circle in the end. I think it will look beautiful. 
totally up to you. You can decide what you're going to create here. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Now, thread another needle. Cut off from the spool. It's something like seven inches long. And I'm starting to attach everything I've prepared here. String on black, size 11-0 seed bead. Then this symbol finding, this one. Then again, black seed bead. Okay, not now. First, we're going to pass through this top hole of this star. And then we're going to string, black seed bead, finding, and another black seed bead. And then pass through the top hole of next gemdo bead here. Pull your thread, leaving a tail approximately 5 to 7 inches. This is what we have at this point. Now I'm going to use this tool, it's called bead stopper. I like it, it will help my beadwork to stay in place, so I'm putting it here. See, I've left a tail here approximately 5 inches, and this bead stopper, this will help me a lot. Now string black seed bead, golden, and another black size 11 and pass through the next top hole of next game duo bead. Pull your thread tightly, but not too tight, make it just perfect, and keep attention to thread tension. Your element should stay flat. This is what I have now. Now string another black, golden and black, and pass through the next top hole of game duo bead. Again, pull. Now, when we came to this point where we have this finding on the opposite end, we're going to add another finding here, just to make this element look as a connector, and pass through next top hole of next game door bit. And pull your thread tightly, but not too tight. This is how it looks like at this point. And then again, black, golden, and black seed beads in size 11-0 pass through top hole and again black, golden, black and through the top hole. This is how it looks like at this point. Now I'm going to pass through all these beads once again around, make a couple of rounds just to make it more secure and stiff. I'm going to add some additional beads so it will look more nicely. I'm passing through these black seed beads, through the symbol finding, again through the black bead, then through gimdo, then through this black bead, like this, I'm pulling the thread. Here where we have golden bead, I'm going to add another golden bead on top of it. So I'm stringing one seed bead in golden color. And I'm skipping this golden bead we have here and passing through this black bead, which is next to this golden, just like this. See, these two golden beads are here together and they look like a brick stitch and that's what I wanted them to look like, so I like it. So this is what I'm going to make with all golden beads we have here. I'm passing through this black, then through the top hole of Gemdo beads, then through another black seed beads. I'm coming to this point here and here I'm going to add another golden bead on top of this golden bead we already have here. So string one golden bead and pass through next black bead here. Now just pass through all these beads around. We're not going to add anything here, so I'm passing through all these beads. Pay attention to your thread tension. Your element should stay flat. Again, string one golden bead when you came to this point and pass through this black bead. Pull your thread, place beads like the brick stitch and this is what we have. I'm going to take this bead stopper away. I won't need this anymore. It made its job perfectly. And pass through gemdo bead and through this black seed bead. I'm going to add last golden bead here. I'm passing through this black bead now. Okay, that's it. We created our element of our earrings. Now I'm going to pass through all the seed beads and gemdo beads once again. So this will help me to create this stiffness in this element. This should stay stiff, stiff but flat. Remember, these are earrings in the end, so we are going to make them more and more and more stiffer by adding more and more thread in the bead holes. And I'm going to make several knots here and there while I'm doing this. So just like always, I'm coming under this 
thread between two beads and then pass through this loop and pull thread tightly. I made a knot and now I'm continue to go around my element. And I'm going to make another knot here. Now go around this element one or two times. You decide when to stop, make it stiff, make several knots here and there, and then we'll just cut off the thread. Now insert another thread into the needle and do just the very same thing. Go around, make several knots, and then cut off. Okay, now element is ready. If I took two identical symbol elements, this could be a perfect connector for a bracelet. I know you noticed my gorgeous golden ring. It just can't be left unnoticeable, I know that. And we have a tutorial ready for you. You can find it here or in the description field under this video. I've shown, I've already created a tutorial how to make the very same ring. So follow the links and you can do this also for yourself. And I'm going to continue my beading process. I'm going to take my favorite flex right wire. I'm using this one for the nine strands. And I'm going to add a charm to my earrings using this wire and I'm going to show you how. Okay, see I've strung several seed beads here. I have 11 golden, then white, black, white. Actually, it doesn't matter what I did here. You can do whatever you want. So string several beads just the way you like it. Make it a couple of inches long. The most important thing is to make sure they really look nice together. In my case, I think they really look nice. The length of this element is also is an option. And after I decided the length of my element, I'm going to take these soldered rings. Pay attention, this is very important. These should be soldered, they're not the ordinary jump rings. Just like this, they could be open and this is really dangerous for our design. Because when we work with flex right wire, it's really thin and it can slip off the jump ring and ruin your design. So this is critically important to take the soldered ring here. Now I'm going to string a crimp. This is two by two millimeter size. These are the Beatsmith crimps. I've strung a golden crimp because I have this golden design. Then I'm going through my soldered ring and then come back through the crimp. See, I'm making this kind of loop here. Leave a tiny, tiny tail. Now take your magical crimper and create some magic. Squeeze your crimp like this. See, now it looks like a pillow shaped thing. Turn this 90 degrees and squeeze once again. Now the crimper tool starts to create this magic. It turns the crimp, the tube crimp, into the perfect round bead. Rotate and squeeze several times, form a nice, very nice and round bead. I'm going to cut off this wire end. And this is what we have now. I'm going to send all my seed beads here to this crimp. And now here with the other end of our flex right wire, cut it off the spool here, leaving a tiny, tiny tail, just enough to secure this. I'm going to use smaller crimps in size one and a half millimeters because I'm going to add a crimp cover on top of it. So I'm going to make it smaller. String this small crimp. It doesn't matter which color it would be because I'm going to cover it with crimp cover in the end. Just squeeze it with pliers. Don't make a round bit of it. It's not necessary now. Leave a tiny, tiny space, something like half the millimeter because we are going to put a crimp cover on top of it and we need this space. Okay, I've squeezed my crimp. Make sure that everything is secure here. Okay, nice. And now we're going to cut off this wire. And now take this pigment. this is a crimp cover, and put this on top of our crimp. Okay, just like this. And now I'm going to squeeze this, I mean, close this. You can take your magical crimper or any other pliers you have handy. Just close this and form a round nice bead on top of your crimp. 
Okay, this is what we have now at this point. So one beaded element is ready and I'm going to add another one, a couple of chains. I have found this very nice chain. See, it looks like golden plus black. I think it's a perfect match for the connector. I've just beaded myself. So they are gorgeous when they look together. And I'm also going to use this chain, this matte finish golden chain. So I guess the final step now, I'm going to take my jump ring, I have it already opened. I'm going to take it with my pliers, I'm holding this with my pliers, and then I put my beaded connector here first. Then I'm going to add the longest chain, this black one, like this. Then I'm adding this golden chain, and finally, here goes a beaded chain and I'm going to close my jump ring. You can use second pliers or a crimper like in my case. I'm closing this ring and the pendant is ready. I'm so in love with it. You can't even imagine. I'm so in love with it. This is the point when I started to actually like what I'm doing because I finally see the final result. Now the final, the final step, I'm going to take an earring finding. Here I have this ring. I can open it like this and I'm going to put my earring on it. Not the earring, just the connector we just created. So the earring is ready. Ta-da! Absolutely in the same manner, just scroll down to the very beginning of this video and repeat the process from the very first step create the second earring and this is what you're going to have at this point. Ta -da! Well, that's it. This is what we created for now. If you really like this video, if you like this tutorial, if you like this design, don't forget to actually like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more tutorials from us in the future. See you next week. There are going to be more. Create these earrings for yourself or someone you really love and talk to you soon. Don't forget to come back, like, subscribe and till next week. Bye! Thank you.